In mathematics, the notion of cancellative is a generalization of the notion of invertible. An element A in a magma has the left cancellation property if for all B and C in M, A B equals a C always implies that B equals C. An element A in a magma has the right cancellation property if for all B and C in M, B A equals C A always implies that B equals C. An element or in a magma has the two-sided cancellation property if it is both left and right cancellative. A magma has the left cancellation property if all are in the magma are left cancellative. And similar definitions apply for the right cancellative or two-sided cancellative properties. A left invertible element is left cancellative, and analogously for right and two-sided. For example, every quasi-group, and thus every group, is cancellative. Interpretation To say that an element or in a magma is left cancellative, is to say that, the function g, x or x is injective, so a set monomorphism but as it is a set endomorphism it is a set section, i.e., there is a set epimorphism f such f equals f equals x for all x, so f is a retraction. Moreover, we can be constructive with f taking the inverse in the range of g and sending the rest precisely to a. Examples of cancellative monoids and semigroups. The positive integers form a cancellative semigroup under addition. The non-negative integers form a cancellative monoid under addition. In fact any free semigroup or monoid obeys the cancellative law, and in general any semigroup or monoid embedding into a group will obey the cancellative law. In a different vein, any the multiplicative semigroup of non-zero divisors of a ring has the cancellation property. Note that this remains valid even if the ring in question is non-commutative and, or non-unital, non-cancellative algebraic structures. Although the cancellation law holds for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of real and complex numbers, there are a number of algebraic structures where the cancellation law is not valid. The cross product of two vectors does not obey the cancellation law. If a times b equals a times c, then it does not follow that b equals c even if a zero. Matrix multiplication also does not necessarily obey the cancellation law. If ab equals a c and a zero, then one must show that matrix a is invertible zero before one can conclude that b equals c. If det equals zero, then b might not equal c because the matrix equation x equals b will not have a unique solution for a non-invertible matrix A. Also note that if ab equals c a and a 0 and the matrix A is invertible 0, it is not necessarily true that b equals c. Cancellation works only for ab equals a c and bar equals c a and not for ab equals c a and bar equals a c.